to another video everybody so we are one two like three days out from surgery wednesday if you had no idea i am getting surgery so it's kind of like i want surgery but i don't want surgery it's just gonna mess up my whole routine my whole routine is just gonna be lost it's just gonna feel different it's not gonna feel the same it really isn't right now i'm cycling right now i'm training right now i'm going to the gym i'm strength training i'm doing everything like that and soon my whole routine is just going to be lost it's just not gonna feel the same and it's just not gonna like be where i want it and i'm gonna have to restart at the gym restart with cycling restart with running restart all over again even though i'm training right now yes i do have pain yes it's still there it's not going away it's not like disappearing or anything like that it's still there sadly but it's definitely less there i would say but the thing is i want surgery because i don't want it to keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back and then it just keeps on flaring up flaring up and it just gets worse and worse every time and every time it flares up it's just a worse case scenario and literally like i, I don't want to be like 50 and it's like really bad or it just made my hip even so much more worse like i do not want that but today we have an easy bike ride tomorrow we have an easy bike ride and then two tuesday we plan to do a 200 mile ride wednesday we have surgery at 1 or 2 p.m so we got our basically weeks planned out but once that surgery hits my whole routine is going to be lost normally i will take a rest day on sunday so basically how i structure my training i haven't been on youtube for a while yes you've been seeing vlogs posted but those are from like april and may and like maybe even before that so it's kind of like i might be a little off centered here i don't really remember how to film correctly like it's just it's been a while it's probably been around like six seven eight weeks ever since i started training on strava you can look at that that's essentially when i stopped doing youtube because i just burned out i'll put that in another video because it's just it was a crazy story of what happened to me and everything like that but basically how i structured my train is i gradually increased the volume i was running actually i kept that on private i mean i just did i kept most of my training on private until i really started cycling and then once i went on vacation to the beach i posted all my stuff on strava basically just because i did i don't really know why i ended up posting on strava again but i did posted a few things but i did not post my bike rides i did not post my warm-ups i did not post my runs i did not post really anything i just really post my strength training i don't know why but i just did and so basically i started running but then i had a foot flare up because i started aqua jogging that aqua jogging really messed up my foot because the way i was just landing i was landing like this and I, my center of gravity was just landing on my heel it was stretching out my arch too much my arch got inflamed so i started picking up the bike and then i started doing these long hard rides on saturdays it started off like two hours and 30 minutes then my rides went from like hour two hours three hours for easy rides it basically now it's like two hours and 30 minutes now for easy rides six hour long rides on tuesdays and Friday, saturdays i will do interval sessions basically speed sessions with a longer ride in it saturdays will always be my longer ride with those speed sessions it's normally like 40 20s if you know that uh where you go 40 minutes hard 20 seconds easy times like 10 or 15 then you take a 10 minute 15 minute break and then you go again and then basically just these speed sessions these quick bursts it gets really good at vo2 max pumping and everything like that some other rides i will take steezy some other rides i will do mountains but basically what my training has been i'll discuss it in a whole other video with my strava all laid out and everything so i can really just show you all everything and i have it off the top of my head and why i did it this way but basically what i was doing for this this week is I structured a two hour and 30 minute ride, four hour on Tuesday with some speed and Wednesday recovery ride, two hour and 30 minute ride. Every recovery ride is a two hour and like 30 minute ride and I'll do sprints on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. I uh, just do it as, because I just see it as like a running stride and so that's why I did it. And then Thursday I did it, planned two hours, 30 minutes, Friday, same thing. Saturday, two hours, no, one hour. Yeah. Well, this is basically like my normal week, actually. My normal week would be 2.30, 4.00, 2.30, 2.30, and then six hours, and then recovery day. I think that's the seven days. So basically, every recovery day would be like two hours and 30 minutes long, which isn't really recovery because, as you know, your heart rate drifts. But this week was not going to plan. It's kind of been super unstructured. My legs felt really stiff because I really wanted to be ready for that 200-mile ride. I'm not going to be completely fresh because I did not do a true taper. I didn't taper enough, I would say. I could have tapered a lot 
more. If this was a true race, a true event, I would definitely want to taper more. I was planning the event on Saturday and then I switched it, was gonna do an hour ride yesterday, but I ended up not doing the hour ride because I was having fun. And I was like, why not just do it Tuesday, the day before surgery, because your legs could be heavy from vent top and just, you don't want to experience doms. So I would be doing the 200 mile ride today, but I'm not going to be able to do that 200 mile ride today just because I didn't set my mind to it. I woke up a little too late. It's just not gonna work out. It is 7.29 right now or 7.30, whatever you wanna call it. I normally wake up at five and waking up at like 6, 6.30, 5.30, somewhere around that and it sucks, but I just don't wanna be like super tired. I don't have work right now because I did quit my job. So I don't wanna like make my mind all stressed and everything like that when I don't really need to do that. So I then I plan a two hour ride today, then an hour tomorrow, maybe an hour and 30 minutes today. I'm gonna just see how I feel in an hour tomorrow and then 200 on Tuesday, then Wednesday, my ride, ride. I can't eat anything because the surgery's at two, can't eat anything. We have to be there by 12 and we can't really eat anything for I think six or eight hours, something like that. If I wake up at four, I can eat something. If I don't wake up at four, can't eat anything all day until after the surgery because you can bleed more, choke on it. I don't, I don't really know why I can't eat, but it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck not to eat. I'm just gonna say that because I'm gonna be hungry after that 200 mile ride. I probably will say that because I normally am. I'm really ravenous in the kitchen the next day after a very intense long effort day because I was low on calories the day before. I'm just craving a bunch of food. I, every, I, I eat a meal and then I go for some snacks. Eat a meal, go for some snacks. It's more just go for a meal and then snack, 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 snack. But I will describe more of my training in another video, but that was just kind of like a recap of what my training has been. It's really just kind of been all over the place and I just wanted to let y'all know that surgery is coming up but it's time to get, get the morning started cycle everything like that we are doing Zwift uh, but yeah always freeze or microwave your cliff bars or quest bars or any protein bar or energy bar or anything like that because it will taste better I highly recommend to do so it just makes it more magical and better tasting if you have the capabilities if you're not on a run or bike ride and you can't do that I wouldn't suggest it Just finished today's ride, uh, very solid ride, very easy. Kind of hard to control the heart rate, just a little bit. No, no, it wasn't really a heart rate, it was more the breath. It was really hard to control the breath aspect. I would try to breathe in and out of my nose. I mean, yeah, out of my nose, into my mouth. Just very hard to control the breath. Recently, I found it very hard to control the breath. I don't understand why, but very hard, I realized. Just very concerning, I guess, and it's also very annoying, but still, low heart rate. Yeah, I kept it low, kept it average. Gradually increased the power throughout the ride, so that's good. Get a little pickups towards the end, so that kind of spiked up the heart rate and made the average heart rate a little bit higher. I think I averaged around 133 power. And since I have a Wahoo kicker snap, uh, I normally minus like 15, 20 ish power or yeah, around 3% because it's like 3% off. So that's kind of what I normally do, but solid ride, solid effort. Kind of want to work on the heart rate, but two days out from that ride and then three days out from the surgery kind of sucks, but you know, we're going to get through it. We're going to get through what we need to get through, but we got the work done. Uh, we, I was going to do I don't know. I was planning on an hour and 30 minutes, so that kind of stuck in my head. Could have gone longer, which is always good. You always want to go longer on your easy rides. You want to feel like you want to go longer. I was having fun, so I pushed it a little bit longer than an hour and 30 minutes, but I kind of wanted to actually cycle for around an hour and 40 minutes, hour 50 minutes. Don't really know them. We kind of want to just keep on pushing the gun, pushing the gun, pushing the gun, and ride for two hours, and then two hours, 30 minutes, because I was low-key having so much fun, and I was, yeah, I mean, but question of the day, what do you prefer? for indoor training or going out on the road and doing outdoor riding. I personally prefer yeah, I don't know, actually. Uh, I love outdoor riding, depends. Uh, when I'm riding in the neighborhood, it's not that fun. It gets really redundant, really just, there's so many junctions. You got stop signs, you got cars, you got walkers, you got so much things that it's just not really biking friendly and you just gotta go in and out. You always got a corner. It's just, it's not really that fun and it just gets really, really repetitive compared to if I was actually cycling on this true cyclist road, like when we go downtown, that's true, but it's we're literally like 30 minutes away from that. So we can't always do 
that and also it's not really convenient at all but for structured workouts I would personally like me but this bike ride to do an elevation unless I go to like some place like Hawaii and do like or I don't know some really mountainous place I obviously ride in the mountains but obviously I can't do mountains here because it's very flat where I live if you didn't know I live in Louisiana so of course it's very flat we're like 30 feet above sea level and I think the tallest elevation here is like 500 feet it's so very flat so I use Watopia and all these whiff worlds to actually get my elevation and, and really solidify that to build some strength in my legs as well but we got arm day today I trained arm day today instead of doing it Monday which I normally do Monday, Monday and Thursdays and leg day Tuesdays and Saturdays but I switched it today because I kind of want to just rest and just kind of just relax my mind tomorrow really get the foam roll maybe go to the gym sit in the sun foam roll hopefully I'll be able to do that hopefully I can set my mind to it normally if I don't have to go do arm day or leg day at the gym I normally just say I'm not just gonna go to the gym to foam roll but I'm actually more motivated to foam roll at the gym and get things done at the gym which is really convenient but it's not always the case but it feels good to be back on the tubes I'm not gonna lie it feels good thought I was gonna be a little bit camera shy but I mean it's just kind of like natural I guess kind of wish I was filming this whole time when I was up in my volume up for running and then I dropped it down because I got a little niggle and then I started cycling and then I ramped up my cycling. I kind of wish I filmed all that. When I would ramp up my arm day intensity and volume and amount of exercise to do and same with leg day, the amount of volume and intensity and the amount of sets and reps and all the new exercises that I do. I kind of wish I videoed that, uh, documented my story, documented everything and just did everything since I was training because when I get the surgery, the vlogs might not be really cool with me cycling and stuff. So, but who really knows? It could just be Matthew's vlogs. It could be my vlogs. I mean, if y'all really like to see my injury rehabilitation and road to pro and everything like that, well, I guess that's part of it, the surgery, and that's part of the story. So, but I kind of wish I added the surgery part where I tell y'all I get surgery and then I train for like six, seven, eight weeks doing leg day, arm day, cycle, a little bit of running, mostly cycle, and up the volume up in every little aspect, strength training and biking. And then I can actually, I guess, document the fact that I'm getting surgery and then document the fact that I had to stop cycling then got surgery then I rebuild re-strengthen redo everything strengthen the hips rest the hip uh, do PT strengthen the quads hamstrings glutes hip flexors front of the hip flexors calves everything every aspect of my body that you need for running cycling triathlon anything anything I set my mind to I need to rehabilitate that after my surgery and I could document that as well but that is essentially what I need to do you know but yeah. So I just finished up arm day and basically just finished up my whole day. It's, I just got in the shower and everything like that, but I'm gonna jump on here and get the comment of the day and then close out today's vlog. I was gonna bring my camera to the gym, but I just didn't because it was raining and I didn't wanna get the camera wet. I didn't wanna get it all messed up, but I'm gonna get the comment of the day, which the comment of the day will go to Ezekiel Anderson. He says, I like when you vlog and talk about your injuries, how you overcome them and grow as a person from them. It's like a story where I invest in the characters overcoming their struggles also like the cool edits thank you for watching the channel and thank you for this because it helps me know what y'all like and know what y'all like as viewers and everything like that so it makes me very very pleased that you comment on this it's not really you comment on the video it's just to comment on a post i made to kind of help out with the channel and help me know what y'all like better to make more of that content and just keep y'all entertained everything like that but the battle i've been overcoming since january of 2021 is still overcoming uh two days now from now three days from now Wednesday whatever the case is and hopefully that will be the end of the journey that will be the end of at least this injury I'll probably get another injury just because running is very high impactful cycling the stuff I do is very very like injury prone so I probably will get another injury and I'll have to overcome that but for now I'm just gonna have to overcome this the surgery I'll probably be fresh and ready to run and bike in November December maybe earlier or maybe even later it just really depends on how my body takes 
the surgery, how my body recovers, how my body fails after this. It's just kind of like, it's all about overcoming that steep hill, that steep hill, just this injury. Once I overcome that, I can start to go down and start to build a back up, but this back up is not the pain increasing like this. It's literally me running. The volume is increasing and running, cycling, triathlon. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm a bikeaholic. I don't, I just, I, I don't know. I really just don't know. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. Make sure you seek happiness. Chico and bye and glory. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.